you get are several attachments that you can add on and you can just flip the cart see what it looks like from different angles oh hello lag again yeah, and okay so if you want this to be self propelled you'll need an engine and I'll quickly show you how a hull is made it's wood and wooden wheels which just sticks followed by wood um, yes uh, if I show you quickly there are a few types of engines if I can spell correctly there are coal, solar, a tiny coal engine, the basic solar engine, a compact solar engine, and a com and a creative engine. Now, I'm going to show you how to make the most basic coal engine, if I can get the controls right for once. Now, you'll need a furnace, two pistons, and more iron. And again, in the interest of time, I'll just quickly grab some of that as well. So, furnace. And two pistons. So yes. So, we go back into our crafting table. And if I remember correctly, it was free iron. To piss, sorry, iron like this, and a furnace there. Yes, that was correct, and we got ourselves a coal engine powered by coal. So, if we add this to the actual, what's it called? Um, that, um. And because this is actually too complicated, you can't add a whatever it's called engine. Um, yes, as you can see, the modular cost of one of them is 15, and the maximum modular cost you can have is 12. So if I quickly go back into engines, and click on a tiny coal engine. It's just two iron and a furnace. Whereas if I look at a compact engine, which I should have. I went into the wrong thing because I'm a genius. Um, that's the compact solar engine, which actually is 32, so you won't want to make one of them. So again, I need a piston and a furnace. and a piston you know just like an engine you need something to heat it up and something to actually move the fuel around so if I put that in the top the piston below it and the iron either side you get a tiny coal engine now I can put this into the cart assembler and voila we have something with a cart with an engine sorry now um, as you can see here it has um, a build time it's currently six seconds um, yes this cart at the moment is currently useless it's not really too brilliant but we can add a tool now if I quickly have a look show you have a show I'll just quickly show you what tools you can get there are drills, a farmer, a woodcutter, and that's actually it, I thought there was one more, but oh well. Yes, so, depending on what drill you want, depends on the cart, I'm going to go for a iron, an iron drill myself, so I'll show you how to quickly make one of them, it's two iron along the top left into the middle, two iron lock in the same place on the bottom, then one in the middle and one on the right of the middle row. Just show you again here. There we go. Iron drill. So if I put this onto the front of the cart, we now have something with a cost of five. So we can put on 
an attachment or a storage unit. Now, personally, I think storage is more important. So if we go into that. And show you quickly, there's several different types of chests. Again, in the interest of time, I'll just use one of these. Um, these are made by panes, which are just lots of wood put together. You get quite a lot for your money, so it's not exactly wrong. The uh, big ones are made by these ones. Just go back into this. And you also need an iron chest lock, which is iron above stone. And in the interest of time, I'll just cheat in the side chests. Okay, so if I just put them on the sides, voila, you have two bits there. And we still have some room for an attachment, but it can only be as a maximum of 12, I believe. Yep, that is correct. So we can only have four um, attachment. So if we have a look, all of the attachments are quite expensive, so if you really want something to work efficiently, you'll need something quite low cost. I'm personally going to get a seat, just to show you, um, free wood and a slab, I'll just cheat one in again, just because of time, and there we go, we have the cart with a seat in it, as you can quite clearly see, it's got the engine, it's got the chests, and it's got the drill at the front. Now, if I assemble, I'll need some fuel and water, so if I just quickly get some, if I can spell. If I just get some fuel from a bucket and some water. Hello, lag. Um, it's not liking it, what a surprise. Um. Yeah, it doesn't seem to like putting in items. Maybe if I put coal in, it could work. Okay, so get a little bit of coal, plonk it in, boom. And we will definitely have enough fuel to have this fully built. Because it's not exactly the most complicated thing in the world, it's probably the least complicated actually. Here we go, so we have our modular cart. Now, if I get some rail, again cheating it in, because I don't have the time to build it using railcraft, which I will show next time. And it's in a track now because science. Let's get some standard track, like so plonk one bit down, then put the cart on it, like so. You can see we have a fully functioning cart, and if I just put that in there like so, and put the um, nope, never mind, um, Yes, you can set priorities for stuff as well, so if you want a high priority it will be the full like deal stuff and I'm just gonna quickly get some coal. Here we go. Okay, so we have some fuel. Burning it.
Nope, seems to be confused as to which way around it wants to go. Oh, good. Come on, push it onto the track, hopefully. Do carts work like this in Minecraft? I don't have a clue. That's why I'm going to have to break it quickly. But you keep all the coal and stuff, which is really handy, actually. You don't want to lose. All of it, but with a power cart, you don't need any. Um, actual workings. It does all. It does, however, need something. To, if you build something a bit more adept, you can use railers. But for now, that's all I can show you. Um, with this, um, I'm going to show you a railer cart quite quickly. Um, to quickly get a standard hull. is made by I think iron with iron wheels which are iron surrounded by sticks I'll just quickly cheat one in here we go Wrong one again yes you've seen how this works before so I'll just quickly get this built So we're getting a tiny coal engine, just because it's the cheapest and I failed again. Yep, there we go, so we have our engine. Our tool is going to be a larger drill. And there are several types actually, there's basic drill, there's iron, there's hardened and then there's Guard. Gal Gadorian. Now to make the basic drill it's with diamonds which does work better but again because I can't be bothered to cheat them in. There we go. Iron drill. Attached. Now attachments. This is what I didn't show you last time. I don't believe. Oh, I did, but I didn't show you what I was going to put instead of a seat. So, what you can get are railers. Now, railers are made by getting a piece of track, two iron ingots, and loads of stone, which I'll just show you how to build quickly again. So, three stone along the top and bottom, piece of track in the middle. Then iron either side of it, as you can see. So if I place this in here now, it will have the railer attachment, and it has room for more, actually, which I will again quickly put some stuff in. You can have so much stuff; it's just funny, really. Um. Just so this doesn't take too long, I will get a torch placer, which is made by getting tri torches with iron. Tri torches are made by putting three torches in a row together. Yep. And I think that's all I'll put in. Again, just quickly get a chest. Which I showed you how to make earlier with husk and it's basically just wood. Yep. And add ons. If I just quickly search them, because I don't think I showed you these actually. <coughs> yes, here we go. So, it, you have lots of stuff actually. You have chunk loaders, you have. Um, an invisibility core which just hides it, extreme melters, melters, divine shields, a break handle, you can detect monsters, players, villagers and animals, a liquid sensor which just senses water and a height controller. Now I'm not going to add any of these on just because it'll take it means it'll take forever to build it. 
yes, I'll just put a couple of bits of coal in. And boom. And actually, um, we're going to have to make a choice here. This is good to show you. Between these and side chests. Um, I'm going to replace side chests with inside chests. Um, chest. Where is it? Top chest. No. Uh, they may have just taken it out. Um, let's put a top chest in then, because I don't think there's one of them. Which is similar, it's just two normal chest panes with huge chest panes above it and a chest lock in the middle. So, you don't have anything clashing now and it will take a minute to upgrade. Now, while it's taking that minute, I'll just quickly explain how Steve's Carts works. Um, it's all down to you, really. You can create whatever you want, from farms to, well, anything you can create. Well, anything your mind can be put to, really, actually, thinking about it. Oh, that over there, you don't need to worry about. That's just a failed attempt to earn infusion things. I didn't really understand Formcraft at all. Yes. I'm not sure what these red lines are for, actually. I think they're just showing where the chunks begin and end. Yeah, that looks about right, actually. It's probably 32 block. Sorry, 36 block radius or something like that. Um, but yes, it's nearly done now. I'm going to have to put a bit more coal in. It shows you how quickly it goes down. Look, 45 seconds it takes to, it to um the more complicated your cart is basically meaning the more time it takes um you can have carts taking up to an hour you can have five minutes ten minutes so on i think the la most complicated cart you can make is an hour long but that's like with invisibility and all the crazy stuff that i showed you There's so much. Um, I just realised that my house is on the edge of a chunk. <laughs> Didn't even realise. But yes, um, this is the way that they dig down. They just dig and dig and dig and dig and dig. Um, it's pretty awesome actually. Just come quickly back in, and it is done. Modular cart number two, the revenge. Now, if you want, you can put these in different places. But yeah, here you go. You have you change the threshold current of the torches. You place in. You put rail in. You put just stuff in in general. And actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how the torch works. I just get a load of torches, two stacks of torches, and put some coal in now. Actually, here we go. It's already off, and it's placing torches everywhere. So you can have a Lewis cart if you want. Which actually looks pretty cool when it's put down all the chests. Well, the now where are you going? It's decided to go off on its own, which is rather odd actually. I haven't seen it do this before. But it does, it just places torches wherever it can, depending on your settings. As I showed you, I put in cool settings so that it would just do whatever, do torches every block. Yeah. It's literally just as bright as you can get it. Because once the torches go, then they go. The only problem is it takes, it burns up a lot of your torches, and as you can see in the engine, it burns up a lot of coal as well. I mean, we, we're only on 52, I think, but Jesus, we've only gone like 
from there to here. It's burned up like three blocks of coal or something like that. So as I said, not the most energy efficient cart in the world, but uh, what can you do? It does however make really good tunnel ball um, really good tunnel ball, much better than the railcraft one, I have to say. I think it's relatively cheaper to build actually if I just check to compare um a tunnel bore. Yes, a tunnel bar, you need two minecarts, blocks of steel, which are steel and they're put into either a centrifuge, a blast furnace, and the blast furnace is blast bricks. Yep, so this is never bricks and soul sand, and that's also magma cream, which is slime balls and place powder. So it's not the cheapest thing in the world, eh? So on the board, then you also have to get a diamond drill, which can actually break as well, I, f I believe. And I can't find one. But yes, it's diamond and iron, I believe, as well. So it's not exactly the cheapest thing in the world to make. But this this can be as cheap or as expensive as you want. Um, the ingots you get later on, which were the gal... Yeah, gal... Gardual ingots, I believe they were. Yes. Um, enhanced gar gal gardual. And you have to smelt with large lumps with a large lump of it, which are made up of lumps of it, which are Eye of Galadors, Glowstone, Diamond, Stabilised Metal, Stabilised Metal is Hardened Mesh, Refined Hardeners, which are Raw Hardeners, which are Obsidian and Diamond. So yes, this is probably the most expensive cart you can get in any mod, but it's well worth it. It's probably the best cart possible. But crikey, look at the amount we've already dug through and we've barely got through to the other side. I can see this being a problem here for the cart, so what I'm going to do is get some dirt out. And then just put it over the path. of the cart, which is along here. Yes, yeah, so you can just have a full arsenal of workers as long as they're still fueled and maintained every now and then because you don't want it to just like, not work, do you? And then another interesting thing it seems to have done is it seems to have placed the torches on just like the highest block possible. Which is rather interesting, actually. I've never seen it do that before. But um, yeah, guys, um, just tell me what you think thought of this um, in the comments as usual. Um, and be sure to like, subscribe, and peace.